Hiya, welcome back. We're back on the C1 and it's not the intended video that was going to be put out because I inadvertently deleted the full video and it wasn't an iCloud anyway, so that's gone. So anyway, we're, we're, we're doing another job today. We're doing something that's been needing doing for a bit and it's this. I mean, it's pleased to see me, but it's not working that well. So we're going to adjust our handbrake. So first, we need to take that off, which as you can see, or as you might be able to see, is a Phillips. It looks like a 10mm as well, but I'm going to go and ask Philip for a screwdriver. Can I borrow your screwdriver? Oh. Cheers. Oh. Right, so I've got a screwdriver off Phil now, Phillips screwdriver. We're going to undo these. Now there's two of them. Now this isn't actually the perfect screwdriver for this, because it might slip and I might have to get a 10 milli. So let's try this first. Yeah, it's not going to go with that. But let's get a socket. And while we're doing that, we might as well be having our car demisting and uh, de icing. Which could take a while because I'm no scraper. So these, anyway, these are the two screws that we're going to take out and they're a phillips head as i've said but they like a broad phillips head so i haven't got one of them but if i go and do some foraging i'm sure i can find a 10 milli socket to take it off instead so let's go and find that that's exactly what we're looking for and as you can see this is a freshly picked wild cart socket set um, and it's never been used because this is still in polythene and we've still got the 10 milli so i need um, an adapter a 10 milli uh, we just put some tools together so we've got 10 milli ta-da and we're even keeping the bag on because we don't want to get new tools dirty tools when they're shiny are meant to stay shiny you're not meant to actually use them so anyway let's uh, let's take this off this is going to fall off As you can see, we're undoing that ferociously. Let's do both. Right, so, back off. So upon closer inspection, we can actually see that they're not 10 milli at all. They are just screws. Unfortunately, I've actually got the right screwdriver bit in this set, which is that one, the sort of like fat short one. Now, I could cut this out, so I don't look stupid for trying to undo a screw with a 10 milli, you know, with all my years of experience and uh, what have you. But I'm not. I'm, I'm going to leave it in because everybody's fucking stupid sometimes and fucks up. And I'm going to have to get a bit more force on that because that's pretty tight, actually. Now, don't forget as well, if you're struggling to access this, you can move the seats backwards and forwards to give yourself a bit more room. I don't want to move my driver's seat because if I do that, I'll never ever get it set to where I want it again. This looks like it's a two-handed job as well. It's just going to put in with an impact gun or something because they are tight. Very tight. Right, that is very tight to a point where it's not going to undo with the screwdriver. So anyway, this has got a socket set and there's a socket that will fit the screwdriver bit but it's not a clamping socket you know with the release on it which holds onto it so this is a little tip if you're doing that if you put a bit of paper in it now luckily in this car it's full of shit and i've got paper and stuff lying about hold on let me just set this up if you put a little bit of paper in there and then put the screwdriver bit in it doesn't fall out when you turn it upside down to put in the screw and then what we can do is we can insert it lovingly to where it needs to go and before we put a ratchet on it this if you've got seized up bolts and what have you this helps so you hold it as square as possible and basically while you're holding that just hit the end with an hammer and it, it can help free them off before you start trying to 
turn them and snapping the heads off. So I'll do that before I start. I can't film it because I haven't got seven hands, but it's, well, I've just explained it. Right, so I've just hit the end of it. And another trick to try with stubborn bolts is to try and actually tighten them a little bit first. That can sometimes also, I'm gonna hold this with two hands because if I slip off, I'm gonna make a right mess of it. And there we have it. That's coming out now the way it should do. Like I said, I don't know why it's so tight. It might have been put in with an impact gun. I don't think I've ever had it off. It's not been off for a while at least. Could have just been rusty. But if you do have a stubborn bolt, them two tricks should help you. So anyway, we've now got them two bolts from done, which was way more intense than what I expected it would be. And we need to take this off to get to that. And that's all we've got to adjust up, nice and simple. Right, so this is, I think it's a 12 milli, but just also to take, take note of this because it's only a single adjustment and it self balances with this pivot here. And this cable is tighter than this side, which is an indication that this one is better adjusted up inside the drum than what this side is. Now these are on self adjusters, which, oh yeah, you can see why the bolt was seized up. Now these are on self adjusters on inside of the, on in, well, inside the brake drums, which don't always work, uh, they can, it can be all right, but they can not work as well. So anyway, I'm just going to tighten it up and do the best I can without taking the drums off for now. So I need to tighten this up. Yeah, it's actually a 10 milli. Um, a deep socket would probably be the easiest way to do this, but I haven't got one. So I'm using a 10 milli spanner. See, so look, it's 10, 10 milli. Um, and you just keep adjusting it up. Keep on turning it until it feels like you've got more of an handbrake and then I'll show you something else as well uh, I think we're pretty much getting there with that that's much better now before we put this back on we want to make sure that the brakes aren't binding the easiest way to do that is set the handbrake off and just push the car and it seems okay so now we've just got to put this cover back on and I'd just also like to mention that this, all I'm adjusting here is the slack on the cable. So if your cable, if your handbrake lever is too high, this is just adjusting that. If your handbrake's not working and you're pulling the lever and you're actually pulling the lever hard, then the chances are is the shoes need adjusting, if it's on the shoes that is, need adjusting inside the drums. If you look through my other videos, I explain why this matters about like the mechanical advantages of it being adjusted at the cable and at the adjuster and what have you it's on the e46 handbrake adjustment i think it is but it's the same principle it's a drum inside the disc so if you have a look at that you'll, you'll see the um about why it's important to adjust the shoes inside the drums as well as the cables and then i'm going to tighten this shitter up in just a minute and these screws are just getting tightened up with the screwdriver so if i do have to take them off again I can do that. Right, they're tight, that's done. Put that away. Handbrake is now functional and it's not binding. Happy days. So now we've got a good handbrake, we've got all the power, and if we're a, a young single bachelor, we're now ready to go out and find a mate. <laughs> So anyway, this isn't the video I was going to upload because, like a knob, I deleted that one. Um, but it's another job ticked off the list. We've started it. We've got an amber eight now. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, check out the other videos, all that kind of carry on. Uh, happy New Year and peace out and take it easy. 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 Take it easy. Easy. easy.